What's up everybody, it's Koopo. Today's mission is called Family Meeting. Joys of Fatherhood. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one. It's one of the main missions. So it looks like we have to go speak with Wardek. He's at the converter in South Abessa. So let's go ahead and port over there. Okay, it looks like he's just over here. find some vital information. Oh, he's over there. Father, Jax, so it's true. You are alive. I hadn't dared to hope. So, you left Zacor? Have you stopped taking Elix too? I am trying. It's difficult. You must have experienced the problems of Elix withdrawal yourself. I was unconscious during the worst of it. My body was already drained of Elix when I awoke. There is more to the changes than just the physical. It is how your mind copes with the rejection of all that you have known. All that you have been in life. Tell me, what do you make of the world you have discovered since leaving Zakor? That the free people are capable of resisting the Alps. We are told we are superior, but the Alps have failed to crush them or their spirit. That will change soon. The first Alexiter, Tarek, is assembling his troops before the gates of the Ice Palace. He will make his move and he will succeed in conquering the lands of the free people. We have to stop him, or our people will perish. What are you doing here with the Separatists? I had no other choice. I tried to stop Tarek and Zakor, but he realized my plans. He would have killed me if I had stayed. I hope that I can still make a difference from here. I can help to bring a halt to Tarek's plans. His blind obedience of the hybrid endangers all our people. What is it he's doing that threatens the Alps? Why is Tarek such a danger? Tarek is a puppet. He has given his will to the hybrid. The hybrid and his new directive dominate our people. And soon, Tarek will dedicate all our people, the whole of the fighting strength of Zakor, to an invasion of the lands of the free people. Oh, this death for one purpose. Greater power to the hybrid. I say we need to find another way, one that does not lead to our ruin. We should ask the hybrid what he will become. We should know what we are choosing between. Do you think the hybrid will talk to us? To him, we have no more free will than the mutants he commands. You know the price that an owl pays to reach the highest ranks in Zakor. summoned me, Master? Kallax, you have proven yourself loyal to the Directive. You are efficient. You obey your orders. Those are the marks of a true Alb. I have watched you and your brother and the honor you have brought to your father. You will all have a part to play in the events that are to come. Are you ready to play that part, Kallax? Will you join those chosen to evolve? The hybrid's will is above all. I will serve the hybrid. And so it shall be. Open your mind to me, Kallax. <coughs> know my thoughts and serve the directive. You 
and your brother were the strongest warriors at the Ice Palace's command. Strong, intelligent, iron-willed. No one could equal you. And now look at you. Today, you are an outcast. I suspect that my failure in execution was planned by someone at the Ice Palace. I share those suspicions, but I have yet to find any proof. My raider being shot down, the Alms being nearby to carry out my execution, the chances of those things happening without being planned. But the questions are why and who. The only cause I can think of is your free will. All other Alps took the hybrid's favor as an honor. You questioned it. But who ordered your death? Who coordinated it? That, I don't know. What about Zardom? I know he was behind the attack on my raider. Now that he has left the Ice Palace, he would have no reason to do that. Zardom was always set on becoming first Alexator. If he thought you were an impediment to that, he would have no hesitation in having you killed. But now he's here, out of Zaykor, who knows what his plans are? I know Zardom wanted my raider shot down. Zardom knew I was flying to Adan, and he knew the purpose of my mission. Well, if that is true, I don't know how he knew that information. No, no. Zardom was already in exile when you received your orders from the hybrid. Then someone at the Ice Palace must have got that information to him. If Zardom is behind this, then he had help. But why would another owl communicate with an exile? What about my brother, Kallax? I don't believe that. I am sure if your brother is involved, it is only as an instrument. He must be being used by other people. He would only have carried out the execution if he had orders to do so. What about the hybrid? The hybrid needed you and your skills to achieve his aims. While your free will may have made you stand out, your will is nothing to the hybrids. You are under his control and offered no threat. Besides, if he wanted you dead, he could have had you shot without the need for this intricate plan. What about the first Alexander, Tarek? He has the power and the intellect to plan something like this. But he is no longer himself. These days he is merely a vassal to the hybrid. I don't think he possesses the ability to think as freely as this. I don't think he would do this without orders from the hybrid. So who do you think is behind this? I don't know. Even if there is someone behind this, I think you will learn his name on the day you stride up the great ramp to the Ice Palace. Where is Kallax now? Your brother knows you are still alive. He is looking for you. He wants to finish what he started and prove his loyalty. After all, technically, he failed in his mission to execute you. He will want to remedy that. That is why he is traveling alone. He is currently in the mountains of Abessa on the border of Zakor, awaiting information on your whereabouts. Have no doubt, he will strike as soon as he knows where you are. Not if I get to him first. I would rather you both join together. The death of either of you weakens us all. It is far too late for us to be reconciled. There must be a way to free him from the hybrid. He's a slave like Tarek. If you could free him from the hybrid's will, then you could both be reconciled. And if he comes for me in the meantime, I will fight him rather than die myself. If that is your fate. But you think clearly and independently now, Jax. You can decide your own destiny. You serve the directive to obtain all Elix for the hybrid. What changed your mind? What happened to our search for knowledge? What happened about our evolution? What about researching the nature of Elix? All those were key to the Owl people. And all have been dominated by the hybrid's demand for Elix. A lot has changed at the Ice Palace since the coming of the hybrid. And the pace of that change is only accelerating. The hybrid tells us nothing of this future he sees. He is obsessed with his own evolution. A 
and that is only attainable through the consumption of ever greater quantities of Elix. No owl, no free person will be allowed to stand in his way. I still believe in serving the Albs of Zakor, but to achieve that, I now know that the hybrid must be removed from the Ice Palace. If the hybrid's evolution is not yet complete, shouldn't we ensure he reaches his final form? With all the sacrifices we've made, with all the blood he once spilled, has he told us what he will achieve if he attains that? How do we know what he will become? No, my loyalty ended on the day of your execution. I will not sacrifice my son for the ideals of that machine. Wow. Lots of information. Alright, let's see what we need to do. Our brother's love. Well, we get to go find Kellex finally. Let's board up here. follower following me? It must make me do this by myself. Okay. I don't know how I get up here. Okay, this this path is actually gonna take me up there. Yeah, I'll worry about that guy later. I'm just supposed to jet back on up here. Just do a quick save. right here. I doubted what I was told. That you were failing the hybrid. Yet now, even the fact that you still breathe stands against the directive. Why did you come here, Jax? What did you expect to find? My brother. You appeal to me with emotion? The bond of blood with you, with father, once gave me honor. Now all I have is shame. Your execution should have saved me from that. And yet, here I stand. You failed the directive, Kellex. Perhaps we aren't perfect after all. Wardick hid the truth. We were born free people. Elix, the hybrid, our father. They decided what we would become. Powerful, superior. They opened the door to our evolution. Our past is irrelevant. So we've been told. But what other lies have we yet to uncover? You take the promises of the future and serve without question. But even now, as an Alexander, what does the hybrid tell you, Kallax? What do you know of the truth? From the ashes came the clerics, believers in Kalan. From Kalan came the Alps, believers in the future. From Elix came the hybrid, seer of all things. Together we serve no god, we bow to no person. Together we shall evolve. Evolve into what? The Alps existed before the hybrid. Now we serve him. Now we bow to him. He has taken the place of Kalan. Do you think you can anger me? I don't need anger, brother. The directive tells me you must die. 
What is dead should stay dead. Oh my goodness. A lot of bad guys. Kidding me? I was spamming right click. I have to click through all this now. So, Calix said a trick. He has some explaining to do. This guy needs to go. That guy needs to go. I <laughs> move. <laughs> I'll just get out of here. What is that? Oh, it's a patron. Okay, I think I can just go back and talk to the father guy. I really want to kill all those mobs because I really think I can. <laughs> oh, do we have to retract the quest? Alright, let's go back and talk to our father. Let's see, what the heck, man? Why'd we get ambushed? was traveling alone, but I was ambushed by several units of Alp soldiers. I told you what I knew of him. Kallax must have changed his plans. Where did you get that information in the first place? From Kallax. Then either you lied, or Kallax used you to set a trap for me. The hybrid has made him blind to all other things. You must help set your brother free from the hybrid's control. I can't promise you that. This nonsense has to end. He was your brother in arms. He is your brother by blood. Calix told me I was to become an Alexander, one of the chosen. What does that mean? That you were directly under the hybrid's control, working together as a group to do the hybrid's will. But I don't remember even having access to the hybrid. As a full Alexander, Calix was the one who had access. He was the one who always spoke directly to him. There must be more to this. It just doesn't add up. Then you need to speak to Kallax yourself. I would have done, but the combat mechs you failed to warn me about had other ideas. There must be another way to reach him. And how do I do that without walking into another trap? You will have to find a place where the combat mechs won't go. Then... You'll need to lure him there. Any suggestions for where I can lure him? No. That's a question you'll have to answer yourself. Lure Calix? Are you serious? It's better than you fighting his combat mechs. Then give me a suggestion, Father. If you want to help him, then help me. Something important happened in the past that I have yet to tell you. Calix has known for some time. And I think he fears the truth. What is it he fears? Losing his rank as a Lexator. Tell me the secret. There is a small fishing village on an island to the south of Idan. It is now long abandoned. You should go there. That is where you will find the answers you are seeking. You must be able to tell me more than that. I could tell you, but you may not believe me. You have to see it yourself to understand. I will speak to you when you return. Okay, let's track this. 
see where we need to go. Looks like down here. Okay. Berserker Island. So, this is the place Wardig wanted me to see. This place, there is something familiar about it. I have been here before. This path, this beach. It was a long time ago, but I was here. I was still a child, a young child. I lived here with my parents. This was my home. It was raining. They came out of the darkness with their weapons of light and fire. People ran in panic. They ran. They were cut down. The town on fire. Screaming. Another boy hiding near me. Just as afraid as I was. Everyone else was gone. All that remained were the lifeless bodies in the surf. It was just me. And the other boy. Then one of the attackers found us and took us with them. He named me Jax and the other boy, Kallax. So, that is what Warden kept secret all these years. Kallax and I weren't born in Zaykor. We came from Edan. We were born berserkers. Why would Warden hide that from us? All right. And that's the end of that little arc. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll try not to move. This is really hard for me. If I'm getting complaints about moving my mouse while I'm talking at the end of my videos. So <laughs> I'm going to try not to move my mouse. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.